Okay, so you want to write an ebook. You probably know that it can be a great introductory product or freebie to grow your email list, but you get stuck when actually deciding what to write about. In this video, I'm going to give you several ideas to help you brainstorm a great ebook topic. Hey there, I'm Kate Danielle, and I'm an entrepreneur and Canva certified creative. Before we get into the juicy content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. To get started, I'm going to go through five techniques and things to research to help you brainstorm a perfect topic for your niche. Number one, look at your most popular content you've already created. If you have, um, a really popular video, long form content on social media or blog posts. Maybe you want to expand on that in an ebook, turn it into a product or a lead magnet, magnet depending on where you're wanting to lead your audience. Um, but start there. Look at your analytics. What is popular? If you have posts that are popular and also related, that's great. You can work on combining them and turning it into an ebook and you can check out in the video I did all about turning content into an ebook. It'll pop up above. Number two, think about what someone needs to do to get started. Look at your products, the things you teach, uh, the, the resources that you share and write an ebook about what a newbie would need to do to best utilize them. So for me with my Canva templates, it might be that they need to have a really great brand. So maybe I create an ebook all about DIYing uh, a brand for your online business. Number three, think about what questions you often get asked. You likely heard this before when it comes to creating content, but I don't know how many times I tend to, to skip over it or I'm busy and I, just yeah I just kind of skip over um, really taking note of the questions uh, people ask me but you can create a list if you have any kind of group when people are in that group um, answer the questions to enter your group ask them if they have any questions or um, have a question that gets information out of them it can become a whole treasure tro trove treasure trove <laughs> words they're hard it can become a whole really great list of topics for an ebook where you can answer questions and it may be one question that you go really deep on or it can be an ebook that's like um you're the top twin questions you get asked as an expert in whatever your topic is number four this can be a little um time consuming but it's a really great resource to have and that's to play the google abcs and this is what it looks like you search your niche in google and check out what others are search bleh, check out what others are searching for you know you can go type something in google and it gives you suggestions and more things at the bottom and those are great but i like to play the abcs and where i type in something such as how to canva a and it'll start a list of things people are searching for. I copy any that seem relevant to me and then I do how to Canva B and you get a really great options. By the time you go through the entire alphabet, you may have things you've never thought of before. And then any of those that really stick out to me, I like to then type that in and look at those areas um, just a little bit under the search that's like people are also looking for and down at the bottom where it gives you more um, suggested search ideas. Number five is to use a research tool or um, a headline generator. It's kind of two ideas in one, but basically you're just using something to get the ideas flowing. Something like Ask the Public is a really great way. You can type in your topic and get a whole bunch of different questions that they format for you or even a headline generator can help you get started with just some kind of really catchy headline and then it clicks and you have your idea. So I'm going to link um, to the headline generator below that I like and answer the public. Okay, so if you're still kind of stuck, I'm not really sure, you're starting to brainstorm but you need more help, let's look at some different actual formats of ebooks that you could use. You could write a how-to ebook. Uh, this could be a process you teach, like how to increase engagement on Instagram or how to market organically on Pinterest, how to meal prep. You get the idea. 
Number two is an ultimate guide on XYZ, whatever your topic is. This is similar to a how to, but this is gonna be um, deeper. It's gonna be kind of like the go-to guide for using essential oils. Like, you know, as much information that you can put into this ebook. Uh, the ultimate guide to using Canva like a pro, maybe not the best <laughs> ebook topic. Pro that's probably, you know, you kind of need to see what I'm doing in Canva, but you get the idea. Uh, the ultimate guide to freezer meal planning. That one's a really good example because it helps kind of narrow it down instead of saying the ultimate guide to meal planning if you add in a specific like the ultimate guide to freezer meal planning then you're only dealing with that one topic versus all the different topics you could talk about in meal planning so even back to um essential oils the ultimate guide to the ultimate guide to beating cold season with essential oils so again you're kind of narrowing it down you're going to go really deep on this narrow scope of that use of essential oils to help you with like the cold and flu and everything else that we have going on now um, season. My third example, this is one of my favorites. It could be an expert advice ebook. You could think of one to three really great questions that your audience would love to know the answers for um, from experts in sort of an ad adjacent area to your niche. So for me, since I make a lot of templates and graphics, maybe um, I do an ebook on like social media engagement or something that's not necessarily graphic design, but it's related enough that I know my audience would like it. So you come up with the questions for that topic and you find um, as many experts as you can to ask them those three questions just in written format. And you can compile that into an ebook of expert advice on whatever the topic is. The fourth um, ebook format is um, number tips to do XYZ. So something like seven tips to a more productive day. It can be tips, hacks, you know, anything you can put a number in front of to achieve an action. Uh, 31 easy dinners for families. Uh, 31 post ideas for Instagrams. For Instagrams, I made it plural. <laughs> I need more coffee. Ebook format number five, it could be a must have tools ebook. So maybe you compile a list of tools that you know will make your audience's life easier. So again, uh, maybe I, since I, my audience is other creative online entrepreneurs, um, tools for running your business online. And um, the bonus here is if you're an affiliate for any of them, you can include that in your ebook. So maybe the top, top, the top five tools to run an online business, uh, 12 apps to keep your business organized, the 10 must have essential oils. Oh, that was it. The 10 must have essential oils. Uh, if you want more specific ideas for each of these formats, be sure to, after the video, to click on over to my blog because I'll have tons of, um, I have a few ideas listed under each format that I mentioned. Uh, number six is blank in a weekend or three days to blank. So basically um, the outcome that your audience wants in a short amount of time, a weekend, a day, three days, you get the idea. So this teaches a process that can be achieved in a short amount of time. For example, learn Canva in a weekend, uh, 31 days of gratitude, uh, seven days to become a meal prep master. I have to read my notes. <laughs> okay, and number seven is, <laughs> I call the category Be, Have, Grow, Launch. And I know this may seem like a, I kind of, um, lumped a bunch of ideas together here. These are all outcome verbs. And this example kind of pulls a few of the different formats together. So it can be like how to be more productive in the mornings, five simple tips to grow your email list, plan your launch in a weekend, have more free time, 10 experts share how to avoid burnout. So I'm focusing on those words where someone, they want to be something, they want to have something, they want to grow something, or they want to launch something. So uh, these are all different outcomes that they want to have. And you can include that in to kind of come up with the topic of your ebook. And 
lastly, don't get stuck in just like the typical ebook format. It could be a workbook. It could be, you know, something that's part information and part interactive such as uh, plan a month's worth of social media content. So maybe you have sections that teach them how to batch and, and get all that done in um, a day, but then you also have like a planning section where they can kind of jot in notes and write down their ideas. Another idea for this one, of uh, it's not too late. How to achieve your goals in Q4. Again, part information on how they can take appropriate actions to reach um, Q4 goals. Okay, Whew. this list could go on and on guys. Like I said, click over to the blog post um, for more ideas for each of the different topics that I mentioned. Let me know in the comments what this has kind of sparked for you if you're coming up with any um, topic ideas for your ebook or if you have any questions and then Lastly, once you get your ebook topic decided and written, then it's time to actually design it, which you can do in Canva. And I have your back with my easy ebook templates that you can purchase. I will link to those below. It is a set of 70 mix and match Canva templates for an ebook workbook. There are even some recipe layouts in there and you can copy and paste your information in there. Swap out your photos for a beautiful ebook in minutes. Be sure to check that out once you're ready to design your ebook because remember to work smarter, not harder. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.